might give you brief tasting notes on something you definitely can't buy, which is the rum. So you see the, uh, the very uh, fancy label we have there on the rum. <laughs> Sharp uh, cursive writing. Uh, it was cursive before it got a little rubbed off there. Um, what is it going to be like? Well, part of the answer to that is a bit of a mystery, but the concept behind it is most of the rums out there, I'm, I'm generalizing, but just go with me, are either kind of fairly standardized, very enjoyable, very nice, but nothing too crazy in terms of what you could walk into your average liquor store and buy, right? Then sometimes if you're really into rum, you can find a lot of different world rums, you know, some of the agricultural styles, some Jamaican stuff and Haitian stuff and all over. And those are really so full of flavor and so interesting. Maybe you've tried the Brooklotti series of uh, Renegade rums they did when they did their, you know, they, uh, long and short, they bought a bunch of rums from all over, had the casks full of rum, tasted the rum, bottled it off, and then finished some whiskey in the rum barrels. Um, Always kind of an interesting thing to be able to taste the whiskey aged in the barrel as well as the rum. But also kind of crazy. I mean, there's a lot of stuff going on there. Those are some of those are even I would say challenging to drink. You know, you get anywhere from explosive fruit to you know burning tires to solvents. I mean, if you've gotten into world rums, I mean it's it's a lively drink to to handle, especially at higher proof. We're trying to make something. It has refinement, it's a sipping rum, it's based in on a Barbados molasses, which is basically molasses that's had next to none of the sh crystalline sugar taken out, kind of the ale malt, I like to say, of the, of the molasses world. Rich, full, nuanced, but not as aggressive as a blackstrap. We also have some blackstrap in there, but it's not 100% blackstrap. So you've got a lot of roundness and sweetness and fullness but also balance. So I guess what I would really say is if you're a whiskey drinker who's always liked the idea of rum, but never quite gotten there, this might be one for you to try.